children under 13, please don't look. Hello everybody and welcome to a game called Bonk. Yep, it's called Bonk and it was released for the Unreal Engine 4 2020 Spring Game Jam <laughs> and all the other taglines attached to that. And the theme for this game was what is hidden in the snow comes forth in the thaw. I think I got that right. Took me a while. Good, let's move on. Uh, other than that, it's a physics engine based game. It was tagged with horror. I mean, you can see our hands are really noodly. Like, look at this. And I don't think we've had many Game Jam games here on the channel, so I figured it was a good excuse for me to talk about Game Jams while we're on this, just, just because I find them interesting. But yeah, a very interesting concept here with the hands. It's something that 2020, or at least from 2020 onwards, we've been seeing a lot more of, which is physics based hands, things that I can touch in real life. These ones are a bit different in that the, the fingers are so noodle like and that you can just slide them along the tables. They bend with everything. But it's all about that like realistic feeling of grabbing and stuff that, that the hands provide, which is all really interesting and really modern. It's a modern VR sort of technology there, so that's really good. We're going to see a lot of ice, I guess, with the theme. Something to do with frozen thaws and, and, and ice and all of that. There is a bit of a weird glitch where if I move my head, the entire world kind of bobs with me a little bit. Which feels a little bit uneasy, especially when I lean down to grab something. The whole world moves with me. But I'll just try my best. Maybe it was meant to be played on a chair or something. Pretty cool flashlight effect. Very nice. So with a game called Bonk, we're probably going to have to bonk some things on the head. Be my guess. Other than that, not too sure. See if we can go for a door here. No. <laughs> my, my noodle hands aren't strong enough for the doors. We did see a vent here, so it's probably just going to be us moving this out of the way. I wonder if we can do it one-handed if I'm that strong. No. I'll try the crates. Okay, good. You get a realistic sense of weight to everything as well. This box is particularly heavy. My hand is actually a lot higher up than it is. It creates the sense of weight, which is very cool. I like that a lot. We're probably going to have to two-hand this. Let me drop my torch and see if I can grab it with both hands, maybe pull. Oh, oh! Good! Decent! See if I can get in here and grab my torch. There we go. So this particular game jam was limited to team numbers of up to five. I don't know what the developers of this game, what their team size was. It didn't really say in the description, or at least I didn't find anything in the description. But it, the game was designed by at least five people. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a game jam is, um, that's okay, I'll tell you. Uh, a game jam is basically a game-making competition that usually has some form of weird quirk or, or theme about it. This particular one was all about creating like an icy-themed frozen game, but some of them will set challenges like you've got to use certain assets or you've got to complete the game in like a certain time. And they're a really good way to get like developer names out there. They're a really good way to um, test out some new features, like for instance the, uh, the physics-based hand system. Just like mechanics that you wouldn't necessarily want to put into a full game, but you want to see if they work before you kind of go into the... I can jump? Look at the... Oh, God. That's something you don't see every day in VR. A jump button. That doesn't actually make me feel too sick. Okay, maybe it does. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, so they're a really good way to um, test out like, mechanics that you wouldn't want to make a fully-fledged game out of. You just want to see if it's it's viable. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, Frosty the Snowman. Do I have to bonk it? it? It seems to be coming for me. Uh, let's hit him in his woolly jumper. Let's bonk. <laughs> oh god. Do I do I punch this? Uh, do, I think we got him. He's still- Oh! He's back up! Have a snowball! Oh, oh! Here we go! It's all in the snowballs. Take it! Uh, we've only got one left. I will bonk you. Ah! <laughs> That's right. Right, I guess we just get out of here. We don't have much of a choice. Maybe I can whack him with a chair or something if he comes at me. Get him with a steel chair. Oh god. Quickly! Quickly! Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh god, he snapped it on himself! Stay down! Good. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, well that's invigorating. I feel good. He's back up again. How do you kill a damn snowman? Ooh, missed him. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if he can kill me. Yes, my screen's going red. That's not good. Let's try with a bin. Let's get him with a bin. <laughs> it's 
such a gentle slap around the head. Right, maybe we can push through here and then he's not going to come through. That would be good. Let me grab the leg here. And my noodle hands are so weird. Okay, so if he's going to come through here, maybe we can block the doorway with something heavy. And then he won't be able to push through. Oh, it just goes both ways. That's not good. I can't hear the music, so maybe he's lost me. Whew! Yeah, so... As I've been kind of working my way through Unity over the past few weeks, maybe? Uh, months, you could say? Uh, I have nothing but respect for people who do game jams. It's incredibly, like... Interesting to see someone make a game in such a short period of time. And some of them are legit. Like, most of them will be, like, short experiences or demos just because of the time frames that they've got, but... Sometimes in a game, that's all you really need. Um... We'll find out if this one's going to be a gem or not by the end of it, but it seems we've got like a passageway here that's blocked, so we're going to have to make our way around somewhere else. Looks like this snowman's fed up with me smacking him around the head, which is good. Gives us some time to... to ourselves. Time to breathe. And this particular game jam wasn't actually like limited by anything. Sometimes there'll be like a VR-only game jam. I think there's only been a couple of those, but I think they're becoming more and more popular, which is very exciting to see. And usually, typically, within every game jam, because they're all demos or short experiences, every single game that you that you can that, that is submitted for the competition is genuinely or uh, generally free. Uh, this one, for instance, is completely free. You can download it on itch.io, or you could go directly to the uh, the, the Game Jams page and get it from there. So it's, it's really cool. Just really cool. I'm really glad that they exist. I think they're really healthy for the game industry. Uh, most of the doors are blocked here. Oh, of course, we've got an ice pick. What? <laughs> Why wouldn't we use the ice pick on the ice door? Yeah! Yeah, this makes sense. Let's pick our way through. Let's, let's double hand this. Let's, let's get some stability going on. I think this one's all about testing sort of VR mechanics using your, your hands and your realistic grabbing mechanics to give you a better sense of realism, which I think is really cool. This is a bit awkward. Are we going to have to break all the individual blocks as well? Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Cool. And we now have ourselves a weapon, which could be pretty handy. Lots of red ambient lighting. Red meaning bad. So I guess this is just a game where it's us versus Frosty the Snowman! Gee, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we popped his head! Decent! He's not recovering from that. You can jingle bells your way all through that. Oh, we got another one. Uh, that's two-handed this. Oh, it feels like the Walking Dead game. Okay. Good. Didn't expect it to be so Christmas-themed, but I guess if it was... Uh... Uh, like ice based, it would be Christmassy. Oh god, is there another one coming? God, I'm not ready for this! One minute, I need to pick up my weapon! Yeah! Let's get him in the head, ready? Pick down! Arrgh. Got him. The jingle that's on them sounds so loud. I can just pick him up. Over head slam! <laughs> There are a lot of games that seem to be coming out lately that have all these ragdoll physics and stuff, and they're so much fun. They are really fun to play, I'll admit. The fingers on this one are so strange, it's such an interesting concept. Oh, <laughs> I can't even grab the door, look at this. <laughs> Enough of that. We have a door over in the back here, and we turned on this light. I don't know why that would be a thing. Oh god, this door is huge. What sort of door handle is it? Head height? It's insane. I guess I'll try this door. This probably seems the most realistic door that we're going to fetch here. We're going to have to move a couple of barrels, but that's okay. I'm mighty strong in this game. I've got all the strength. I can lift up the biggest... Oh, oh. Almost fell through the floor. Okay, steady. Easy does it. One little barrel at a time. In the Wraith Oblivion games, we got telekinesis. That was kind of like an alternative mechanic to grabbing. Um, it kind of makes up for the superhuman strength that you otherwise have. I- oh god. Oh god. Oh, they're coming in force. I've got nothing but a torch in my fists. I use this. Okay, that's helpful. Here we go. Ah, bonk! 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 Ah, <laughs> Okay. We're surviving. We're surviving. I've got the torch. 
Give me the pickaxe. The pickaxe was where it was at. I need this. Okay, here we go. I've got it. Oh, what is- What? <laughs> what happened while I was gone? What did you do? This guy's still alive. Let's get him while he's down. Oh. You okay back there? Oh, you don't look so good. Let me- Let me help you out here. Ooh. This is- Yeah. Smack that ass. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, ah, everything's stuck to everything. Ah, obviously games being made in such a short time do have their fair share of bugs, but that's okay. Let's get him right here. Children under 13, please don't look. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, oh get out my doorway. I need to get through. Oh, this is just savage. Brutal murder. Merry flipping Christmas to you. This, this is the thumbnail, this is it. <laughs> that was fantastic. I don't even think we can go through here anyway. We turned the light switch on, I've just been having miles of fun. Okay, right, let's get back on track. We got distracted. Whew. It seems like there's probably a time limit before the rest of the snowmen come as well. And we just gotta go, we gotta go. Uh, ooh, here they come. Yeah, they come in droves now. Oh, there's three! They're coming. Ooh, ooh. Okay, one's down. Oh god, there's loads! Oh, Jesus! Uh, wait, behind as well? No! No! I wasn't ready for this! They're getting stuck. Uh, uh, so much snow! Pop them! Pop them! Bonk! 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 Game's living up to its name, that's for sure. Oh, we're not looking good. We're not looking good. Where did that flashlight go? Uh, 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 die already! Okay, I think we're safe. The snowballs are another good weapon, we should definitely use that if we get the time. Uh, let's see what we've done, what we've achieved. So far it's not a lot, but I'm sure there is a way out of this game. Come here! Ooh! Around the neck! Mm, mm. It's the only one right. That jingle is so close, it's all around you. Okay. Okay. So we're in some form of... Office? Building? Aha! And the way out. Oh god, we gotta move forwards. Move forwards! Forwards! Quickly! Go for the door! The snowmen are coming in force! Hey, the thing we pulled down helped us out! No, not here as well! Get him in the legs! Get him in the legs! No! No! Not like this! Okay, he's down. Oh. I don't think they can come under, at least. Let's tear this guy a new one while we have the chance. Wait, we're taking damage? Oh, good. Let's just leave. No, 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 no. Not like this. Recover. Recover! Okay. I hope we get to see Sandra at the end of this, and I hope he gives us many gifts. We've been through a hell of an ordeal. It's only been about 10 minutes, and that's enough. The game looks very impressive. For, uh, look, look, see the light rays? That's really cool. Here they go. <laughs> He's jogging down the stairs. Wait, they're coming up as well! Quickly! Pick! 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 It seems just like when they get near you now, we start taking damage. That's really not good. We can use this to block up the stairs, stop them coming up behind us. Yes! Genius. Genius. I think I would quite like a game similar to this, where the, you have the, the VR mechanics that you can use to do things to affect the environment, like block up those stairs like that. That's really handy. Oh god, that guy's bursting through the door. <laughs> you just gotta listen to me grunt throughout the whole series. There's something about swinging a weapon in VR that, like, if you ever have VR, or the people that do have VR, and you swing a weapon, what is this guy? He's got weird breasts! Weird breasts! You will, like, nine times out of ten, make a grunting noise. <laughs> what has the door done to you? You poor man. Or woman. Or whatever you are. Snowman. Oh, God. They're just coming out in droves. What I can say is thank God for the pickaxe. We should probably try like a multitude of weapons, like smacking with the computer or something, but the trusty pickaxe is just so good for bursting heads. 
Okay, let's try something. Can we use a computer? Yes, okay. Let's get in there with a the monitor next. This is like pro wrestling simulator. What have we got in here? Ooh, a key. That's handy. Some form of music? Do do do. Do do do. It's coming from like behind here. Can we get in there? Find out what that is? Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> Plenty of snowballs. Yeah. Oh, the snowballs are so good. Give me more. Ooh, not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, it's stuck on my hand. Oh, no. Oh, there's many. I've only got this stupid computer. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to go. Maybe I can find the pickaxe. Pickaxe, 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 pickaxe. Oh, God. Oh, how is the game not crashing? There must be like hundreds of them by now. Here it is. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give I've got it at a weird angle, but it'll do. Hit them all! Swing like crazy! I will not die today! You can't get me! You can't do it! No! No! Not like this! No! Not like this! How many freaking snowmen? No! 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 I think I'm dead. Right, let's get this key while we can. I've fought my way through here. No, I need the key, not the half the table. The key! I got the key. We got the key. We got the key. I don't know where it goes. Put the key down. We'll come back for you. We gotta deal with the snowmen in the droves. Here comes another one. Duh! Get out of here. We're getting out of this stupid office. Where's well, the last thing we do? Give me the key. Give me the key. Have I got the key? I got the key. Let's try it in this door, maybe? Nothing. I think it's going to be further up. We've got the key, let's just get out. I'm sorry, Torch, but we have we have a key and a weapon. We, we have no room for you. I don't think we have pockets either. we just got to go for it. Oh god, yeah, I knew this would happen. I think they just keep coming, and I think the longer we stay in this game, the more and more snowmen that we're going to have to deal with, so let's just get it on. Okay, they're down for the count. They're down for the count. We're going. We're going. We're going. I don't know how many floors we have to climb. Here we go. Exit. Give me the key. Yes! Take me away. Take me away. This sounds good. Our way to freedom. Oh, the light at the other end. The sunshine. Oh, it feels so good. Yes. Oh, to paradise. <laughs> and that must be the dev team. So there you go. That was Bonk. The uh, the short and sweet demo. As I mentioned, it was a game jam game, so... Oh, look at this. It's not the most advanced game that ever was, but it's a game that explores new things. And that's really kind of the main aspect of what a game jam is all about. Exploring new things, trying things that you wouldn't normally try out, or you didn't have the time to try out that kind of push the game industry and make things better as a whole for everyone. Other people can play this game, other people can see how it's done, and other people will be able to take this idea and change it into something better. Or maybe the developers themselves, if it got a great reception, they would be able to turn it into something spectacular. And that's really what this is all about. And it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I really do like game gems. So thank you very much for watching this video, if you did. I uh, hope you enjoyed me bonking some snowmen. It was great fun! And I hope to see you all as we move on to some bigger, better things. So other than that, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, goodbye! <laughs>